Hello, everybody. What's going on? Oops. Wait for it to show up on my iPad. There I am. See if anybody shows up. started what the what there we go all right hey Darlene there we go hi everybody I see lots of names popping up hey Sandy so, hi, cat. Is Uncle Babe? Hi, Uncle Babe. <laughs> he thinks that's funny. <laughs> hi, Michelle. Oh my gosh, Uncle Babe. I love it. All right. Why don't we get started? Hey, Kathy. <clears throat> hi, Al how you say that? Uh, I Alyssa. Alyssa. All right, so I'm gonna work on his nose first. So this is, um, it's DigiDoodle Studios. Uh, it's Santa Gnome and the paper, or the sentiment is Season of Cheer and the paper is Christmas Meadow that we will be using tonight. Uh, DigiDoodle Studios. So we are gonna color this little cutie tonight. Hi, Gina. Hi, Antoinette. Hi, Gail. Oh, Darlene, I'm sorry. I sent it, I promise. No, not the design team. Did you doodle stamps? Yes, thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and start coloring our news. This is gonna be a quick live. And he's got a little tiny lip. Thanks, babe. Hey, Jackie. Close enough. <laughs> Spell it phonetically, Alisa. Isn't he cute? I thought you didn't love me anymore, Cat. Seriously. I was like, Cat's <laughs> mad at me. All right, so we're just gonna go around the circle. Of his cute little nose. Okay, that was the E double zero. Then we're gonna go in with the, hi Amy. Hi Darlene, EO4. Just like we would do our other images. Because it's going to be shadowed over the top of <clears throat> his hat. So let's make sure we get it nice and even. And it's a little thick, but that's okay. That was the E04. Then we're going in with E11. Oh, Kat, thank you. You're my girl. Did you get your happy mail yet, Kat? I sent you happy mail. I'm only going down a quarter of his nose. Then the E twenty one. It is loyalty. And I greatly appreciate it. All right. Then we're going to go back in with our E double zero. Hi, Georgia. Georgia, listen to me. Hi, Georgia. 
it's Scottish. It creates no end of issue. AJ is what I mostly use. Okay, I'll call you AJ. Hi, Kathy. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is come out a little further with my E double zero. Finish the circle. Then we're gonna go in with our E triple zero. Yep. From this point on, you will be known as AJ. And then our E quadruple zero. Oh, AJ, I'm sorry. Oh, that must have been hard. I can't even imagine. Well, I can imagine. I've lost both my grandparents on both sides. So, I don't know if I'm going to... I want to clean up this real quick. I'm just going to just barely touch it. Hi, Mary. Okay, I just wanted to straighten that out a little bit. Let's go back in with our E11. Facebook's driving you crazy. Ish. And I always do two layers on my skin now because it really makes a difference and helps blend it in. All right. And I'm going to get a little bit of E21 on his lip right here. I'm so glad. I'm sure it brought a smile to your face. That's the whole purpose. And then we'll go in and finish off with our E triple zero. I went in a little too far with my E double zero. And then our E quadruple zero. All right, let's get let's do his beard. Okay, let's get that done first. All right, so we're going to go in with C four. All right, and I'm going to do some flicks, very gently, touch the paper. Get some color down. All right. Then I'm going to go up the side here. Just some little ones. I didn't color much today, so my flicking is off. Take my time and get some nice thin strokes. Is my can you see or is my hand in the way? How's that? Hopefully that's better. going to go up under his nose and bring some down. How did I do this? Let's see. I think whoop. 
Whoops. Let's try it this way. I'm having troubles with my flicking. Don't overthink it, Dawn. Just take your time. There we go. Got it. It's going to be dark right around there because of the bag and his mustache. Now on our second pass, we can add more of the gray and longer strokes. All right, that was the C4. Now we're gonna go in with the C2. They are, aren't they, Kat? I talked to Polly earlier. Girlfriend is so excited that we get to meet. I can't wait to meet her. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go really nice long strokes down into the beard. And I'm just gonna color that in because there's really not enough room. All right, and then we're gonna come up. From the bottom. Man, those comments are flying. What am I missing? Um, later was making dinner, shrimp and grits. Ooh, Christine, yummy. Hi, Sharon. Oh, Polly's here. Yay. All right, I'm just taking my C0. And blending. Every time I say blending, I think of my cousin Vinny where she says, yeah, you blend. All right, so there's our first pass. I'm not gonna go back in with my darkest. I'm gonna go in with my C2. They're the same color as Sketch, correct? Yes, they do. Yes, they are. <clears throat> yes, they are, Amy. They're just a smaller barrel. That's all. They're refillable. And they're the same as the sketch markers, except they're just a smaller barrel. That's all. That was very nice of her. Okay, and then we'll go back in with our C0 <clears throat> and just blend some more up into his beard. All right, let's work on his mustache. I think I went a little heavy, but that's okay. He can be a silver Santa, right? Wow, Jackie, that's awesome. All right, C4. Hi, Grace. I uh, know, right? All right, so. Just pulling some feather stitches, stitches, flicks into my beard or my mustache. I 
think I do better flicking towards me. Look, whoop. Gosh, that one got away from me. What do you guys think? Looks like it. So I'm gonna do that. Cause look. Yeah, it seems like I have more control. I need to come out a little further here cause I went out too far. All right. Hi, Janie. Oh, thank you, Kat. Let's see. Uh, if you use Stampin' Up! alcohol markers, what are your thoughts? Um, hi, Renee. No, I have not. So, I really couldn't give you a... Um, Thank you, Darlene. I can't give you an answer because I've not tried them. So, um, but some of the other girls might have. Does anybody use the Stampin' Up! markers? Alcohol markers? Yeah, it went a little heavy, but... That's okay. All right, so how did I do the top here? I'm gonna give him a little shadow right here from his brim of his hat and then we'll just come out. And from his nose. All right. Now, the tips are not the greatest. Happy birthday, Amy. All right, C0. My hand is either heavier or the fact I use different markers or they are too juicy. Mine never look like yours. Hi, Jennifer. Um, it's just lots of practice. All right, see this little mess right here? I'm gonna take my C0. Um, I color every day. I lied. I didn't color today, but I'm coloring now. So it's just lots of practice, lots of patience, and learning where it fits you the best to hold your marker. I hold my marker down really low. I leave it like a little bit of a gap, and that way I can flick. That's, that's how I do it. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. All right, let's do the C2 one more time. We're just going to make him a silvery Santa. Let's get under his nose. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Um, you just color, enjoy the process, and the more you color, the better you'll get. All right, there's his beard. Thank you, Renee. Yes, thank you. Oh, good, I color in phases. I color a bunch of stuff, then I put cards together. All right, so we got his beard done and his little nose. So let's get started on his hat. This is going to be a quick one. He is Digi Doodles, Polly. He is a Digi Doodle image. All right, so let's start laying down our darkest color. 
which is the RV99. And yes, it's very dark, but I wanted to have a nice, nice, um, rich red to start with. So I'm just, and when it comes to make, putting your marker down on your paper, when I first started, I was extremely heavy handed. So it, like I said, with more, the mo, blit, 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 with lots of practice, you will learn to be less heavy handed. You just, it has, it have to be mindful of your touch, but you'll get it. It will come to you. You just have to keep practicing. Right now, I'm just laying down where I want my shadows. Let's do his hat first. That was the RV 99. Now we're going in with the RV 50. He's a Santa gnome. Let's see, whoops, wrong end. All right, R59. Okay, I'm coming further out. With my R59. Going back over the R99. It's going to be shadowed there because of the little ball on his hat. All right. I'm going to come out a little further. That's the R59. Now we're going in with the R46. I'm just going to close in this gap right here. Come out further with our R46. And higher on the hat. I'm going to go the R46 on the side, and then our R14, which is our lightest color. This is our highlight color. So I don't, I went a little far up with the dark color, but that's okay. I think I want to go back in with my R46. And blend out some more. And then our R14 one more time. And then we'll move down to his little suit. You don't always have to go back to your darkest color. Okay, so let's go down to his little suit. So we're gonna get the RV99 back out. This is getting on my nerves and it's not helping me. Okay. 
So I am going to do a very, very thin line of the RV99 underneath. Oops, sorry. This is our shadow from our beard. All right, and then we're gonna do the same over here. And again, I'm barely touching the paper. There's gonna be shadow underneath on his arm and there's going to be a shadow underneath this part of his fluff on his what you call it can't think of the name jacket Duh, man all right all right and then there will be a tiny tiny bit of shadow under on top of his belt and under his belt Hi, Beth. Thanks for joining us tonight. If anybody's new, I'm Dawn from Dawn G Designs, and I would love it if you would go to my page and like and follow. That would mean a lot to me. I do lives three times a week. Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do the Thursdays at 1 because I have some European friends who like to watch. All right, and I'm going to go just a tiny bit on the bottom of his sleeve here. All right, we're done with the RV99. All right, R59. We're gonna start bringing out our shadow a little bit more. Does anybody have any questions that I may or may not have the answer to? If I don't know the answer, I will find it for you. Also, you can always reach out to me on my Don G Designs page on um, private message. I would be happy to answer any questions you might have. If you are not comfortable asking a question during the live, I get it. Dagnabbit, I didn't want to go up that high with the shadow. Oh well, too late. We're gonna make it work. Hi Gita. This is going to be a quick one. All right, I'm going to go. Whoop. I'm going to go down around the 
corner here. All right, R59, done. All right, R46. Fifteen days. Thank you, Denise. I love the color. Thank you so much. Actually, I should have made that highlight here. That's okay. Let's see how we can fix this. Let me think. Let me think. We might be able to get away with it because Hey Julie leaving a little bit for our highlight area. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this in. And then let's pull out our R14. And we're gonna do something that I never do. We're gonna add glitter. Yep, you heard me right. I think I'm gonna close in this side because I'm not liking it open. So let's just close it down a little bit with our R46. I'm gonna do the same thing for right here. Give it a little bit of a rounded look. Yay, say it isn't so. Glitter, yes, glitter. Sandra, is Sandra on tonight? I don't see her. Sandra Villafani? I got a wonderful package in the mail from Sandra. And a nice card. It was so wonderful to get. It really made my day. And she sent me this. Crystal Snow. White Ultra Fine Glitter. So we are going to try it. Hi, Nicole. Okay, thank you, Jackie. I hope she's okay. All right, I'm gonna, I, you know what? I'm just gonna go back in with my R14 and blend a little bit more. And then we'll move on to his belt and his shoes. Okay, so, oh, for these little berries, I used R59. Hi, Doris. 
Hey, Janie. Hey, Janie, how was the first day of school? Or yours have been in school. You've been in school for a little bit now, haven't you? R59, R46. Oh, yes. Happy birthday, Tina. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. R14. It's the little details of doing three colors on these berries that make all the difference in the world. All right, let's get some dark going here. N9. All right, I'm gonna take a real quick sip of water. We're gonna start with N9. All right, so I'm gonna start laying down. Uncle Babe is here, guys. He intruded in our live, Josh. For those of you who don't know, Uncle Babe is my husband. And he does all of my sharing in the beginning. And I always say, um, thanks, Babe. So he got the name Babe. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> and um my girlfriend's daughter got on and she says I can't call him babe he's my uncle <laughs> so that's how he got his name uncle babe all right so I'm I want this to look rounded on his belly so I'm going in from both sides. And I want this part to be light. Like the sun is coming down on top. So we're gonna take our N9. I will be doing a blog post with everything that I'm using on this card and I will post it on my Don G designs page so that you can go and make this card for yourself you are Cheryl oh how exciting I love it when people color with me I you're right I didn't ask figures right the one time that you color with me and I didn't ask <laughs> oh I'm so glad yes on my page before my lives I write down I give you all the I give you a link to the image I'm going to color and all the Copics that I'm using so that if you want you can color along All right, understood those little names, Obi. That's right, Obi, yes. Okay, what pens do you recommend to color with? Copics. They are not cheap, but they are worth the investment. You will never be sad that you bought Copics. You will never be sad that you bought Copics. There is a learning curve because it's a brush nib. 
but if you take your time and do lots of practicing, you will be just fine. There's plenty of coloring tutorials out there and I will help you as much as I can. I think And I forgot to do the center of his belt. So all that milk and cookies. Awesome. I can't wait to see it, Cheryl. There we go. Okay, and then our N5. Because it's going to be a little rounded in the center. And then N3. Is our final color I just want to thank you girls for watching me it really means a lot to me I do this for you guys I do it because it's fun I've met so many crafty friends on doing this you guys it's it's you guys rock oh you really it really means a lot to me just give him the bottom of his shoe boots a little zhuzh all right and did i forget to write down what i used for the leaves i certainly did well, let's get out our G46. Let's see. Funny, I used to paint. Yep, that's the only time you're sad. That's true. All right, let's go ahead. I didn't write down my numbers for my um, leaves. I apologize. I want to know what is so important that my husband has to stay in the kitchen this whole time. Just saying. Can you guys hear him walking around across the floor? Jeez. That was the G46. G43. Thank you, Gail. Oh, guys, thank you so much. Really, thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I do it because it's fun. And I just show you what I've learned while I've been coloring. I've been coloring with Copics a little over a year. I'm the only one hearing, babe. Okay. All right, good, because that was getting on my nerve. All right. And we are doing an extremely simple card tonight. We are not doing our big fanciful card. Okay, so should I color this little bit right here? Should I color it dark, black, or a little bit of red? 
you tell me what I should color this little tiny area right there. Uh, it was G40. G46, G43, and G40. All right, so let's do our back. So I gave him a gold bag. Red. Polly says red. Who else? You're welcome, Cheryl. Red. Hi, Gail. Red. Okay, let's do the R14. Let's just give him a little tiny bit of red. Right there. All right. Hey, Kim. I don't know if it's his lip. I think it's his tongue because see his lip right there? Let me pull it up closer. Can you see his little lip right there? So I think it's his tongue. I don't know. It's red now. <laughs> All right. Oh, Y28. Let's go ahead. Thank you. All right. And then we're going to start laying down our shadow color. like this all right and I gave him a little bit of a dip right here and another one right here in the back all right that was the Y28 Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. It's his little tongue. All right, wire 23. Going over top of the Y28. So it's giving us a nice, bold shadow. And we're still getting a pic the nice Y28 showing. All right, so I'm just going to kind of go along the edge a little bit. Just a smidge. And then we're going to follow. Hi, Michelle. Happy, happy birthday, Miss Tina Boyle. Yep. And Amy. Amy's was yesterday. Amy March. All right. Then we're going to pull out our Y15 and then our Y11. Y15. finish that area and when we do our second pass it'll blend even better and then the Y11 gives us that nice bright color brings out the gold look. All right, so I'm going to take the Y15 one more time. I'm going to blend. 
blend out take the Y11 and finish it off. Okay, so let's do our, add a little color to our um, white he's so adorable even without eyes yeah he is pretty cute alright so I'm going to take my N1 and I'm just going to go along the edge and I know we're going to color this with glitter but still you'll be able to see that it's slightly colored. I'm just going to go along the top. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Gail. He's fun to color. Oh, I forgot to finish his part of the sack. And then Y11. All right, so where were we? So now I'm gonna take my colorless blender and I'm gonna go along the edge because what that's going to do is blend out our line. So that it's not so in your face. And it just gives us a hint of color. Alright, N1. Then we're going to put our card together so the alcohol can dry a little bit. Then we'll add the glitter. Yes, you heard me right. A girl who does not like glitter is adding glitter. Because Sandra Villafani sent it to me and it was perfect for tonight's live. Okay. Oh, all right. So we're going to take the N1 and do dots. So if you don't have glitter, this is what you can do. If you don't want to add glitter, just add some dots. And then the N0. Yes, I did, Kim, right there. I, fig I think I fixed it. Where? Right here? Is that part of the bag? And then the N0. And then you could call that done. Hey, Sandra! I know. Um, hold on. B ninety seven. Um, give me a second. I'm looking at my chart, trying to find B ninety seven. B ninety. Okay, so the closest that you could get with B ninety seven. See, this is B95, 97, so B45 maybe is really the closest that you're going to get. Okay, so 
let's put our card together and then we'll put our sand our glitter on our Santa actually no let's do that now let's do that now let me get some copy paper Hold on. Sandra, I was telling everybody that you sent me a wonderful gift, and I'm so excited about it. And guess what I'm using tonight? Woohoo! What you sent me, girl? Okay, so I'm taking a Zig two-way glue, two-way glue, the one with the thick, the thick um, nib. And I'm just going to add glue, at, light down the glue everywhere where I'm going to want glitter. You know what? Is it the same premise to use a static... Um, like when you're embossing, can you use that? Does it work with the glitter too? I didn't think about that till just now. Oh, and we forgot to color his belt. Shoot. Let's do that real quick. Hopefully the glue, we can just add more glue. Wire 23, Y15, and Y11, if I can find it. There it is. Y11. All right. Okay. All right, Stacky. All right, here comes the magic. And I have a little brush to brush away some of the extra glitter. Thank you, son, Sandra. Didn't do too bad. Doesn't it look awesome? And until today, I did not have any till I opened my lovely card and gift from Sandra. So what do you guys think? Can you see it? I think it's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna put this down. Add my glitter back to my little Put the lid on it. Beautimus. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. All right, so we're making, this could be a guy card, cause it's, um, but I put glitter on it, so I don't know. Usually my cards are much more elaborate, but I wanted to go simple tonight. So this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. I know, right? All right, so this piece right here is four by five and three eighths. This piece right here is three and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So let's go ahead and glue that together. Whoops.
Yeah, I am not a glitter girl. For one, it makes such a mess, but that didn't make a mess at all. But maybe I will become a glitter girl. All right. And then, like I said, it's a very simple card tonight. This flag is five by one and a half. The pattern paper is four and seven eighths by one and three eighths. And we're just gonna glue that right here. Let me glue Santa. And you can spray a fixative on this so that when the person who receives it doesn't get glitter everywhere. on the mat. I printed Santa Gnome at three and a half inches. Okay. So let's see. It's going to go right here. So let me glue this on. I got it. I missed a chunk. Was waiting for a call. Oh no. AJ, is he okay? You don't have to go to the emergency room or anything, do you? I hope he's okay. That hurts. Ish. All right. Okay, so what I did is there's two layers right here. Oh, geez. I apologize, guys. I apologize. I should have put my camera out. Okay, so there's two layers right here. So if I just laid this down on top, it would go down like at an angle. What I do is there's two layers here. So I've put two layers of cardstock on the back and now it will lay flush. Yes, Cheryl, I wanna see it. And then our sentiment says, Merry Christmas. So if you haven't gone and liked my page or followed it, I would appreciate it. Don G Designs. I do lives three times a week. All that information is on my page. I will be doing a blog post with everything that I've used on this card. Oh no, AJ. Yes, we all want to see it. Whoop. <laughs> I'll just glue it on upside down. There we go. Fish. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys like it. We just went simple tonight. Keep it simple. Because I wanted it to be a guy card. Merry Christmas. Then all we have to do is add it to our card base. And we are done. So please go like and follow my Don G Designs page. Come back and spend another live with us. We do them three times a week. We would love to see you. Oh, thank you, Antoinette. You're welcome. This is a Digi Doodles. Hi, Winnie. Digi Doodle image. Wait a minute. Make sure my cards. All right. Um, I have a link to it on my Don G Designs page to Santa Gnome. And other than that, I think that's it. 
our card is done and my fingers are sticky and I got glitter everywhere all right so I will be back Thursday with another card oh wait a minute I'm sorry I have more stuff to put on here Jeez. on it I don't know if I can now Let's see if I can pick this up shoot geez that's really sticky let's put this right here cover that up maybe we'll put our berries right there and then this piece right AJ <laughs> uh, maybe I should have just used glue you think I would learn my lesson with these I'll get all this gluey stuff off. I'll show you how. All right, so I have what's called a rubber eraser. This handy dandy thing right here. And that will get off this extra glue just gently make sure it's clean geez I'm making a mess there we go And it'll get pick up all that extra glue all right now the card is done Gosh, almost forgot the best part all right so this is it I will see you guys Thursday oh you're welcome it does Michelle all right, so I will see you guys all Thursday at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until, until then, I will see you later. Happy crafting.